Views and comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, callers and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group, copyright 2017. All rights are reserved. The role of a woman in the society is to submit. Right control are the pills of the devil. Education is so fundamental to the development of a people. Hi, murderers. Simple as that. What am I voting for? Voting will change nothing. Good moon, I see it. Como ye. God save the queen. Broadcasting live on ILTV, channel 224, and Decent BTC Flow TV 112. Welcome to Freedom March. My name is Rodney Monker. I'm a Justice of the Peace here in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. I'm a member of the Holy Roman Catholic Church and my politics. I am a member of the free national movement, notwithstanding the fact that I'm struggling with the forces of evil in my party. I want the world to know that notwithstanding that I do not support the leadership of Dr. Hubert Alexander Minnis, I'm an FNM, an FNM with a political conscience with a social conscience, with a Christian conscience, and I cannot support, I cannot support Dr. Hubert Minnis. Well, today, I have with me Ross De Nero Thompson. Ross, welcome to Freedom March. Senator Monker, thank you for having me here in Freedom March today. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, here in the Bahamas, the controversy continues. What went wrong? on Wednesday, the 3rd of May, doing the advance poll. Well, the parliamentary commissioner, Mr. Sherlin Hall, has offered an explanation as to how the advance poll became sabotage. And it is important that the Bahamian people read carefully what he has to say. Because I think he has revealed what will soon be able to demonstrate to you. I'll sh I should soon be able to demonstrate to you that there is a massive conspiracy by my party, the Free National Movement, to sabotage not only the advance election, the advance poll, which took place on Wednesday, but the general election. And the question I put to the public is, who is Carlton Francis Smith? Have you ever heard that name? Carlton Francis Smith. It calls for a forensic examination into what Carlton, somebody by the name of Carlton Francis Smith. I know of a Carl Francis, he's dead. But this is a Carlton Francis Smith. Is he the same as Carl Smith, the man who Mr. Ingram picked up and gave a powerful position. Please stay tuned as we look at Carlton Francis Smith, also known as Carl Smith. Is he the evil one? Or should I look for another evil FNM? I'm an FNM, and I know wickedness when I see it. So just relax, just relax. We'll soon be back, and when we get back, Ross, I shall teach my people, the Negro people, about the first sign of corruption and how the PLP is being sabotaged by fifth columnist FNM. FNM that they fail to victimize 
shortly after the general election. Of course, victimization isn't a good thing, but we'll talk about it when I come back. Carlton Francis Smith. Who is he? Who's that Negro? Freedom March with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV cable channel 224 and BTC Flow channel 112. As I begin this show, I call on my people, the Negro people, to monitor and to let me know if Cable Bahamas is still sabotaging me. Because if they're still continuing to do so, it is my intention to get my placard and go down there and picket them. So please let me know what they are doing. I am satisfied that BTC Flow is professional and Cable Bahamas is professionally immoral and indecent. It is a major scandal that they can't keep a channel on. So let me know what is taking place. Well, my special guest is Ross De Nero Thompson, who assists me here on Freedom March. And then shortly thereafter, I shall be joined by biblical scholar and my spiritual advisor, Bradley Roll. So, Ross, over the last couple of hours, there has been some interesting development. Most certainly. And um, I'm so, um, you would have heard by now that the Attorney General has withdrawn the charges against the Negro man who lives in Harbor Island. Um, do you have that newspaper clip nearby? Yes, um, here it is. Um, the, the AG has withdrawn the case, the voter fraud case against um, a what? young man who was charged, who was accused of registering twice in that district. Well, read a little bit and I shall stop you when I am satisfied that we have read sufficient. Let me hear what the newspaper say. Voter fraud case withdrawn. And this report, this some um, story is written by Atisia Davis, who is a Guardian senior reporter. The prosecution yesterday dropped charges against a man accused of registering twice in the same constituency without calling any witnesses against him. Andrew Johnson, 57, who was arrested in March and charged with making a false declaration after it was discovered that his name was duplicated on the register, is now free to vote in the May 10th general election. Prosecutors allege that between February 27th and February 28th, while at Harbor Island and under oath, Johnson made a statement before revising officer Lucy Butler for the purpose of registering to vote, knowing the statement to be false. When the case was called before Magistrate Samuel McKinney yesterday, Vernal Cawley, a consultant in the Office of the Attorney General, said that he had been informed that the matter would be withdrawn. The Crown can, however, recharge Johnson if desired. Defense lawyer Philip Hilton said that the matter should have been withdrawn outright and an apology made to Johnson. Armed police flew to Eleuthera, arrested Johnson and brought him to Nassau under heavy guard. Hilton asked if Johnson will be able to vote. Cawley said, we have withdrawn the matter against him. He is free to exercise his right to vote. After leaving court, Johnson asked if he could be returned, if, he, if his voter's card could be returned to him. The magistrate told Johnson that he didn't need it, as he would be able to vote using his passport. Well, that is the breaking news taking place there. Magistrate Samuel, what is the name of the magistrate? Magistrate Samuel McKinney. Magistrate Samuel McKinney is wrong. Not that he isn't right. An accused person should have had his documents returned. Where is Samuel Johnson? Am I correct? His name is Andrew Johnson. How, where's Samuel, uh, where is Andrew Johnson's voter's card? What is this the court saying? The court is supposed to order the police to return the man voter's card. Yes, he can use his passport, which is many a substitute if one could not find one's voter's card. That is correct. But if the state is lawfully holding the voter's card, one of the conditions that the magistrate ought to have set immediately was to order the prosecution 
to return the man voter's card. Anyway, let them run the court the way they want to do. So that is the breaking news here. And I thought we needed to inform the public that Andrew Johnson, Andrew Johnson from Harbor Island. of Harbor Island had not committed an offense. The people there on Harbor Island couldn't find his voter's card. And when he insisted that he had registered and they couldn't find it, they said, well, register again. <laughs> and what they want the Negro man to do. If these people who ought to know the law tell the man to register again, and the man registered again. Now, this is the second voter's card they can't find. Wow. Anyway, let me keep all of these Negro people business. So we will tick that off. off. Great. Well, good news coming out of National Health Insurance. And the PLP government must be congratulated for it. National Health Insurance, as you would know, has commenced. And approximately 10,000 persons to date have registered. And I call on my people, the Negro people, to go and register for National Health Insurance. It is a very good policy, and it's a policy that we ought to encourage. And one of the ways we can encourage the implementation is for us to register and to participate in it. So I just wanted to say that. You have any comments on it, Rastan Errol? Well, over close, as you said, close to 10,000 persons have enrolled so far. And from what I understand, the process is very easy. You are, you are to go to the um, various stations with the information as to, as to who your doctor, who you want your doctor to be. And if your doctor is on the list, then he, will, he or she will be assigned to you. So the process is that simple for enrollment. Well, you can also go online as well, nhibahamas.com. Really? Yes, you can. Wow, it's powerful. Well, I hope Dr. Dwayne Sands is on it. Dr. Sands, listen, if you're not on it, I want you to get on it because I don't know, you know, you may have to do little things for me <laughs> from time to time. So this is no time to play politics, Dr. Sands. I need you on the National Health Insurance, what, what do we call it? NHI. NHI. Enrollment list. Enrollment list. Say it again. NHI enrollment list. Enroll for NHI, NHIBahamas.com or go to the Enoch Beckford Hall at Michael Road and you can enroll there. This is powerful. Isn't this an educated young man? Well, Senator, while you were ha on Harbor Island, can I go back to that? You may go to Harbor Island. Well, I spent the last 48 hours on Harbor Island, you know, working on a production. And I, would, I wanted to st share a story with you. On Wednesday night when Hubert Ingram addressed the um, FNM rally in Nassau, at the FNM headquarters in Harbor Island, they erected a huge projector screen. Cut! <laughs> okay. Now, I thank you for that comment, but Papa has me upset. Wow. And so, at this point, I don't want to curse Papa out. Okay? So, let's hold on for a second. Now, where are we? Well, the Bahama Journal has an interesting headline. You know, I have to be careful with the Bahama Journal because Wendell Jones sometimes can't spell properly. And I have to watch out for the Bahama Journal. But interestingly, today's Bahama Journal tells us about the statement from Parliamentary Commissioner Sherman Sherlin Hall. Yes. And so we want to examine a very serious allegation that Mr. Hall has made against Carlton Francis Smith. We all know about national hero, the late Carlton Francis. He was a former PLP representative. He was a former minister of finance and a former minister of education and a Baptist minister. He's had a very exciting political history. Mr. Hall, the parliamentary commissioner, has pointed out that he is not responsible for the debacle that took place on Wednesday. According to Mr. Hall, he was under the authority of Carl Smith, 
Who is Carl Smith? Carl Smith is the same Negro gentleman whose proper name is Carlton Francis Smith. Did Carlton Francis Smith set out to deliberately sabotage the advance poll? Well, I shall accuse him. In 2012, Carlton Francis Smith was a known FNM activist, notwithstanding the fact that if I have it correctly, he succeeded. I can't remember the Negro lady who was the permanent secretary in the Ministry of National Security when Tommy Turncrest was minister. I'll remember her name shortly, Ezekiel. I'm on live TV, and I can't remember the name of the Negro lady. She has like ball head, tall, ball head like woman. She was the minister, she was the permanent secretary in the national in the Ministry of National Security. Her brother is the late gynecologist who died. Research. I can't remember. He has the clinic right there on the corner of Ponciana Drive and Aeneas Lane, his sister. Well, Carl Smith succeeded her. He became the permanent secretary in the Ministry of National Security. In the 2012 general election, I was the DNA candidate for being in Grand Star. And from my political observation, Carl Smith, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of National Security, was an FNM activist. I'm not getting in his politics, but that is what the facts were. When the PLP came to power, I noted that Dr. Dr. Bernard Nottage, who is the parliamentary representative for Bainstown and Grandstown, he was appointed by, by Prime Minister Perry Gladstone Christie as Minister of National Security. It is to be noted that Dr. Nottage must have known that Carl Smith, who was currently the permanent secretary in the Ministry of National Security, was an established FNM activist. It is also to be noted that Dr. Nottage never moved against him politically, never victimized him, but continued to keep him in his ministry as the permanent secretary. Let us now compare the actions of Dr. Bernard Nottage with that of the current Minister of Health, Dr. Perry Gomez. Dr. Perry Gomez was faced with a hospital administrator. What Miss Adderley's first name is? Her name was Coralie Adderley, Senator. Miss Coralie Adderley, who was an FNM and who had moved to destabilize Dr. Perry Gomez. Unlike Bernard Nottage, Dr. Perry Gomez moved expeditiously and instructed the public hospital authority to remove Coralie Adderley as the hospital administrator. And by doing that, I must confess, I didn't like it. But he had certain intelligence, and he moved her out of the way. Unlike Dr. Bernard Nottage, he trusted or he didn't want to be accused of victimizing a permanent secretary. He kept Carlton Francis Smith as his PS. Now, we know that Carlton Francis Smith was a civil servant who was not really up the scale. And I'm only thinking from memory. I think he was sent somewhere overseas. But the former prime minister, the right honorable Hubert Alexander Ingram, and I'm talking from memory, um, recalled him to Nassau and gave him a big, fat, juicy appointment by appointing him the permanent secretary in the Ministry of 
national security. And Papa has, throughout the government, P.S. who takes full political instruction from him. Now, I'm not going to call the other P.S. because there is no evidence that they have moved to destabilize the government. So I won't get into their politics. But we have to look at the allegation that, that Mr. Sherlin Hall made against Carl Smith. Carl Smith, his full name, Carlton Francis Smith. And there must be an investigation as to why he sabotaged the advance poll. And I say, it is a part of the strategy of my party, the FNM, to sabotage it. Papa, I call on you, as a man of the people, and as a true Democrat, this destabilization tactic must stop, Papa, because you are a statesman, and you are to be above this kind of skullduggery. And I believe, I believe, in my head, that Papa knew what happened. And Papa, I ask you to stop it, because I love you. Every D-A-Y, close by my S-I-D, I will a B-I-D, I love Papa, every <laughs> D-A-Y. So that's what's going on here, Ras. Yeah. Papa, stop it. Stop it, Papa. You're a statesman, and I don't like what you're doing. You hear me, Papa? But we're going to examine Carlton Francis Smith. Right there in the permanent secretary, permanent secretary, Ministry of National Security. BJ, there's a fifth columnist in your ministry. Is it Carlton Francis Smith? We have to examine it because it's very important what Sherlin Hall has revealed to the country. And I know Papa left all his people intact. You hear me? Papa, people is there. And they take command from Papa. Papa, did you order this? I don't think Papa would have done it, but Carl and those, they know. Ross, tell us, tell the people them what my telephone number is here. Where the live caller lines are 242-323-775. Or toll free 242 300 0045. Our text number is 357 show or 357 7469. And of course, this is Freedom March exclusively on ILTV, streaming live on the Facebook page and also live on TV. ILTV cable channel 224 BTC Flow 112. This is Freedom March. Today, there is evidence that Carlton Francis met may not be safe. I'll be right back after we pay the first kind of advertisement. Freedom March with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. Views and comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, callers and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2017. All rights are reserved. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV, channel 224 and BTC Flow TV 112. My name is Rodney Monker, and of course, I am blessed and privileged to have with me my spiritual advisor and biblical scholar, Bradley Roll. Bradley, welcome to Freedom March. Thank you, Senator. Well, Brother Roll, while you were on your way to the studio, we were discussing the allegations of the parliamentary commissioner, Sherlin Hall. Sherlin Hall has now pointed a finger at the permanent secretary in the Ministry of National Security, namely a gentleman that is called Carl Smith. 
but whose proper name is Carlton Francis Smith. He is the permanent secretary in Dr. Bernard Nottage's Ministry of National Security. I thank Ezekiel for sending me the name of permanent secretary, retired Missouri Sherman Peters. She was the PS, my spiritual advisor, that Carl Smith succeeded. And if I have it right, Papa bought Carl from foreign and returned him home and gave him this big fat promotion. And he was Tommy Tanquist's permanent secretary. And when the PLP defeated the FNM in 2012, Prime Minister Perry Christie appointed Dr. Bernard Nottage as the Minister of National Security. Dr. Nottage, not believing in victimization and giving all Bahamians who are competent um, the opportunity to continue to serve, notwithstanding the fact that Dr. Nottage must have known that the permanent secretary was a big time FNM who was campaigning right up to election day. And so the allegation that Sherman Hall has made, he said, listen, it wasn't me. I gave Carl Smith everything in time for him to deliver. Not only that, he was aware that Sherman Hall had identified two places for the advance poll. And so listening to the evidence, listening to the allegations of Mr. Hall, who has decided that he's not going to be no false guy. He ain't allow nobody to say that he is incompetent when he is perhaps one of the most educated citizens in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Not only is he a well-educated man, he's a Christian. He's a pastor. And what purpose would it serve him to sabotage and get a bad name? So he has now pointed us in the direction of Carl Smith. Having done that, this morning, I call in FNMs who would be aware of how the Free National Movement conducted the 2012 campaign. Because in 2012, I was not an FNM. I was DNA. And I have been briefed. Carl Smith is FNM. There's nothing wrong with him being FNM. But it would appear that he deliberately sabotage the advance poll so that Christie and the PLP could be blamed. What information have you been hearing, my spiritual advisor? Well, um, Senator, I mean, in all honesty, um, you know, something as major as the advance poll that happens every five years and prior to the actual general elections, um, something serious went down, and it would appear as if the permanent secretary, sorry, the parliamentary secretary, um, was not capable of doing his job properly. And I would say I agree with him. You agree it, with who? I agree with Sherlyn Hall. Either I decide to take the blame myself or I start calling names and everybody feels the same way. So I think he may have done the right thing. By? Uh, well, he may not have been responsible. Well, he's not responsible because... Even though he is the um, parliamentary secretary, and everything falls on him. Uh, right. Well, that so, is where it is dangerous. When a man well, holds a statutory position or a constitutional position, and others then decide that they are going to interfere with him. Because while he holds a position, it appears, one, that he's on contract, and then two, in terms of the civil service, the permanent secretary is actually the person in charge of uh, yeah. the ministry. Absolutely, Senator. You know, after get me the Bahamas Constitution and see if the parliamentary commissioner is in there. Yeah, after I have, after I looked at yeah. what had happened, yeah. it's in um, that bag. Get the, get it, get 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 it get it. Yeah. After I had looked at what had taken place, I could have been wrong, but my assessment is that I think it was sabotage. In there the, is in, no doubt it was sabotage. In my estimation. So I'm saying now, if it is sabotage, it's just a matter of investigating to find out 
who did what and why, you know. I well, mean, when we listen simple. to Sherlyn Hall, Sherlyn Hall appeared to have complied with the law. One, he identified the two spots. Right. He gazetted it. Mm-hmm. He turned the ballot box. He turned over all of the ballots to the permanent secretary, Carl Smith. And by grab, by grab, Carl Smith pussyfooted. And now, Menes, who is leader of the FNM, is accusing the PLP when in fact, Carl Smith is an FNM. You hear me? So now you see the problem. Carl Smith is an FNM. And Carl, you're wrong. You should not have done that. I don't care if Papa told you to do it. And I know Papa wouldn't do that because Papa is safe. But, but what is interesting in all this, though, um, Mr. Monka? There's no I... constitution in there. Look good. Because I have the Constitution right there. Keep looking. I remembered um, some months back, you had said that the former Prime Minister, um, Hubert Alexander Ingram, had told you to go into yes. the Parliamentary Department yes. and to do some investigations. Now, is this what you were supposed to be looking for, or were you, were you expecting something else? Papa has always been suspicious of the Parliamentary um, commissioner's office and Papa was advising me on how to conduct the referendum campaign mm-hmm. you follow okay and Papa told me how to win see Papa know how to win things okay I guess he and does Papa said to me I want you to go there <laughs> go undercover <laughs> and I want you to monitor Sherlyn Hall look at what he is doing and then Papa gave me some codes. I'm not going to say it because notwithstanding that I'm going to curse Papa out throughout the campaign, I still have to be faithful and loyal to Papa. You, you want to do what? I said notwithstanding that you're going to do I'm going to have to curse Papa out during the campaign. Yeah. It may, I still... It may be a bit too late for that. It now. is not too late and you stick with the scripture <laughs> because Papa told me to go there and watch him. Papa said, you won't win the referendum? I said, Papa, I won't win. He said, now you have to listen to everything. And I listened to everything Papa said. Papa knew he could not count on menace because menace flip flop. You see my point? Papa knew that menace would say something this minute. And then the next minute, depending on who tell menace not to say it anymore. Hmm. But Papa knew that there was one Negro who would listen to him. I've always done that. Jacks, you know my friend brother Jacks. Yes, I do. They had to keep me from Papa, because once I'm with Papa, whatever Papa say, I I do. Yeah. So are you with Papa now? I'm with Papa, but okay. not with, not Papa's support of menace because it contradicts Papa philosophy. Papa's opposed to corruption. Don't take me off track. Yeah. Let yeah, me let's stick. Leave that yeah. With the parliamentary department. Yeah. Yes. So Sherlyn Hall has now revealed that he turned everything over to a man who is superior to him within the protocol of the Ministry of National Security. Okay. All right? And therein lies the problem. He gave it to Carlton Francis Smith, and the next thing we know, the whole thing has been sabotaged, and the PLP ends up with a bad uh, Yeah, absolutely, name. absolutely. So what's the recourse now, Senator? Well, the recourse now is that Carlton Francis Smith must now tell us what did he do? And when did he do it? Why was it that having received all the ballot box and all of the ballots, why did he take them to one station as opposed to, the to taking them to the yeah. two station? Yeah. I submit that he's FNM and I'm FNM. And someone has instructed him to sabotage the advance poll to create the illusion in the face of nas- international observers. So the international observers would very well leave thinking that it was the government's incompetency when we know that Dr. Bernard Nordich, permanent secretary, Carlton Francis Smith is answerable. And Carlton, I call upon you to tell us it wasn't true. Tell us, 
Because it isn't right in a democracy to sabotage. I too had yearned for Mr. Ingram to return and take over the FNM. I worked for almost two years to get Ingram to return. I suffered victimization by Dr. Minnis because he knew that I was working in collusion with powerful forces, forces. to bring Papa back. Now, Papa is back. Is not back. Papa is attempting to perform a gynecological surgery. I don't know. Mr. Monk, I don't know if you... Listen, I... Who's the gynecologist? Listen, I, well, Dr. Human, human Minister. Well, by grab, he can't deliver the baby. Mm. He can't. You think that's what it is? The baby is foot foremost. And Papa is here attempting to do Minnis' job when it is a question of leadership. And I'm disappointed that Papa now is saying that he has confidence in Dr. Minnis. When Papa... But of course, all of us have been sacrificed because Papa told us that Menes was a picky teeth Montabi and he was nothing but a frying so, pan. So what that means now is this, Senator. Uh, Stick with well, well, <laughs> Carlton Smith. Don't go off. Because I know who parle ou judia a Paul, Paul Vili. And Paul Vili, pardon. Uh, you understand? Oh, uh, boy. Ma pa beswe nou pou vini ou judia pou parle propaganda pou FNM la. I went into a camp today, you know. I don't care what camp you went to. If it wasn't the camp <laughs> of the Lord, my spiritual advisor, I'm not prepared <laughs> to entertain it. Oh, uh, boy. But this is serious. Yeah, it is. It what is. Carl Smith has done. Why? Why? Here is an educated man, a competent civil servant, who pulled this dirty trick. And I want to give you a principle, my spiritual advisor. When you see educated people, when you see intelligent people doing stupidness, doing foolishness, doing things that doesn't make sense, the question you must ask, what game are they up to? Or what they hope to gain from it. Well, certainly, this is his way of attempting to bring the FNM into power through the back door. And I say, let's slam the door and keep it slammed and shut. On? On the FNM. <laughs> because Papa isn't running for anything. See, these are the facts. Papa is a statesman. And Papa know he was supposed to have returned. And Papa didn't return. Let me ask you a question. I, I don't want to veer off from your point with the parliamentary department, right? But I remember last year specifically, you were saying on your show, Freedom Art Show, that Papa was going to return. Everybody denied that he was coming back. But in my estimation, from what I can see now, how he is very verbal at most of the FNM uh, rallies, it would appear that he is back. But you're saying he is not back. I mean... What is, what is happening? What do we mean by Papa was coming back? Papa was supposed to come back as supreme leader of the free national movement. Papa was supposed to nominate in oh, North okay. Abaco. Right. Papa was supposed to be a candidate. But Dr. Minnis and them, they outmaneuver Papa. The first thing that Minnis did, all of us who he could identify as Papa men hiding in the city, Papa gave us instruction. Hide in the city. So many of us were hiding in the city. And one by one, men are slink behind right. many of Papa men. Mm -hmm. so in my, and in he castrated them. Okay. So in your estimation, Senator, um, does Hubert Alexander Ingram have the power, either by speech or parents, to overshadow minister? I mean, to overshadow Hubert Menace? Does, Papa, he, does he have that influence? The campaign, let's look at it. In the media, Menace's image, his status has decreased. And Papa, image, has you, increased. You think so? It's a fact. Nobody, I don't know if you could remember 1985 to 87. The late Sir Kendall Isaac was the leader of the Free National Movement. The late Cecil Wallace Whitfield. 
was perhaps the national chairman of the party. And they discovered that once Cecil Wallace Whitfield had finished talking, all of us packed up our Johnny bundle, Georgie bundle, and we went home. So what you are about to see is a similar thing, hmm. where once Ingram finished speaking, mm -hmm. everybody sucked their teeth, and they're ready to go. So before this campaign is over, Dr. Minnis is going to have to speak before Papa. Because once Papa wrap it up, ain't nobody interested in listening to Dr. Minnis. Because Dr. Minnis lacks ideology. He lacks philosophy. And he does not excite the crowd. Well, here's, here's the point. I, I really try to understand this because, you know, Paul Dix is a very unique thing in the Bahamas, right? So here it is now that this political season is at its peak and both part well all parties involved are around the 200 mark heading for the finish line and here comes the former prime minister in full support of Hubert Minutes. the question is why would he appear at this stage of the race papa for the fnm has been called out by the money people Oh. Who has no confidence in Minnis? That is a fact. They know that Minnis is not a man you can trust. And even Papa, who is attempting to give him a political character reference, Papa's reference is flawed. Why is it flawed? Papa was prime minister when in 2007. We can't ignore this. We can't ignore it. Papa said to Minnis, now my boy, I'm going to make you Minister of Health. You see that contract you got? I need you to divest. Papa trusted him. Papa thought he was honest. Papa thought Minnis was decent. He thought Minnis had principle. He thought Minnis understood the philosophy of the party. What is the philosophy of the FNM? It is transparency. It is accountability. It is open government in the sunshine. So he said to Minnis, get rid of the contract. But Minnis was greedy. It appears that Papa didn't recognize it. And did Minnis do that? He didn't. So Ingram can't tell the public anything in favor of Minnis because Minnis continue to keep his hand in the cookie jar. Yeah, but you, you recognize that he has, though. Has what? In all of his speeches, he is saying... Yes, but Papa is not... Oh boy, Papa, well, Papa is making a political mistake. This is a statesman. Hmm. Hubert Ingram is a statesman. He's a former prime minister. He cannot accuse the PLP of corruption when Minnis is the, what, the, what that stone the Bible say, if you wouldn't mind the children? What kind of stone? Oh, the that? millstone. <laughs> Dr. Minnis is a millstone around Papa's neck. Oh, really? Yes. Come on. But you understand the implications of that, because if that is thrown into the sea, then your papa is going to drown. Papa is going to have to drown. It appears that papa is committing suicide. And papa, uh, suicide is a sin. These are the facts. No matter what Mr. Ingram say, I bear witness as one of the messengers of the Right Honorable Hubert Alexander Ingram, who told me how disappointed he was when he discovered Menace corruption. What is menace corruption? Hubert Menace, get rid of that contract. You're going to be the Minister of Health. This is going to look bad. You're keeping the contract, paying yourself. So what Papa could say, come on, Papa cannot give any character reference for menace. Well, Senator, if your words hold true, and I guess they are, then it means then that Loretta Butler Turner, who used a very strong word to describe the former prime minister, she may be correct. What did she say? Well, she says he is duplicitous. She said Papa was duplicitous. Mm -hmm. That's a very big, big word yeah, for me. Yeah, that's a strong word. What duplicitous mean, well, my spiritual well, advisor? Well, well, duplicitous is like, it's a biblical word used for a hypocrite, a okay. play actor, one who says something, but actually does something else. Well, Papa so, hands are everywhere. I always knew that. When I sat with Papa, 
Papa showed me five hands. Papa hand was everywhere. And that isn't a good thing because Papa should not put menace on the Bahamian people. We can't depend on Papa, who's not a parliamentarian, who's not seeking elected office, to manage menace. If he couldn't manage menace when he was prime minister, God help the country. Menace, as Papa says, strong. He'll rape the treasury. Well, well you know what, um, Senator? Here's something that you have to consider, all right? You strongly suggest that Papa should not endorse menace, therefore put menace to lead the Bahamian people, right? All right, so here's the point I want to make. This is just a point now. What happens now if the country decides that they're going to go red? There's no other choice. Because Hubert Alexander what you, Menace... What you mean there's well, no other choice? Well, there is Hubert other Alexander choice. Hubert Alexander Menace is the leader of the Free National we Movement. We accept that he's leader of the Free National Movement. So, but I'm pointing out where Papa is wrong to endorse a man... But he doesn't have a choice. Papa has a choice. Okay, what's the choice? Papa's choice is to keep quiet and mm. stay out of this. this. See, the evidence is there. The evidence is there. Papa couldn't get menace to divest. That's a very serious thing, you know. It is my love and faith in Ingram that I have not accused him of anything improper. But Papa sat there for five years as Dr. Menace milked the public treasury. And Papa say he trusted him. I guess he did. Well, my brother. he didn't go back and check. He failed to trust. Menace is guilty, I hate to say it, of corruption. That's corruption. That's the first evidence of corruption. Now the PLP has said that Papa has more than that. In the case of the gentleman of Fox Hill, who they charge. But Papa has sent me out to the country to tell the nation that notwithstanding that, what the man name, or the Fox Hill, um, was charged. Fred Ramsey. Papa say, don't mind he was charged, he was innocent. And I believe Papa. But certainly, we got the evidence on Dr. Minister. Now, Papa's on the wrong track. And Papa must recognize that history will be unkind to him. Papa's a statesman. And Menace, Menace is wrong. But, my spiritual advisor, when we come back, we have to look some more at what Sherlin Hall has said. It is wrong. For, he, for Mr. Hall to be disgraced and embarrassed after what we know an FNM fifth columnist has done. Okay, so did the. Carlton Francis Smith. Mm -hmm. He's an FNM. Okay. He's an FNM and my spiritual so advisor. So, was there any actions taken against the parliamentary commissioner? Well, at the moment, nothing has happened. We know from public report, newspaper report, that his contract. Has expired. Oh, it had expired yesterday, I understand. Oh, right. Okay. But it's unfair what Carl Smith did. He's an FNM, and I believe he acted under instructions. Absolutely. If, if it is the case. Listen to me. He acted under the instruction of the FNM, and it is wrong. Papa, make sure the election is fair and speak to Carlton Francis Smith. Boy, we in trouble in this country. All kind of skullduggery yeah. taking place. Could there be a fair election? Of course. Okay. But if F and M's are sabotaging it, it can't be fair. It can't be but fair. Those are strong accusations. Uh, I'm an F and M. Senator. I am an F and M, and the PS. He's an F and M. It's a disgrace what he did. It's horrible. But this is what happens in a democracy. When, you know, we don't move those persons who are holding powerful position. Dr. Bernard Nottage may have made a serious political error in not transferring Carlton Francis Smith from national security. This is Freedom March. I'll be right back after the show. Freedom March with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker.
Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV channel 224 and BTC Flow TV channel 112. My name is Rodney Monker. I'm a justice of the peace here in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And of course, my spiritual advisor and biblical scholar is Bradley Roll. Bradley, welcome to Freedom Matt. Thank you, Senator. Before I wrapped up this talk about the messing up and the jacking up of the advance poll, I charge that my party, the Free National Movement, is responsible for it. And I do not say that recklessly. Take it from me, I'm privy. I know that Carlton Francis Smith is an FNM. He has a right to be an FNM if he wants to be an FNM. But after what the PLP government did for him, by not victimizing him, by not demoting him, by not removing him from his ministry, he really should not sabotage the advance poll. I'm going to read something out of the Bahama Journal, and then after that, we'll go on to some other issues, my spiritual advisor. Absolutely. So I'm looking at the permanent, at, at the Bahama Journal. And this is a quote. The intention was to hold, this is Sherlin Hall, the Reverend Sherlin Hall, the parliamentary commissioner. And this is what he says. The intention was to hold the poll at the gym as well as the stadium. Now, what transpired that only the gym was used, I don't know. In my capacity as parliamentary commissioner, he said, I appointed Mr. Carl Smith as the returning officer with advanced polls. He was responsible for the organizing of the gym and the national stadium. He can speak to why the stadium was not used. Numerous attempts were made to contact Mr. Smith up until press time, but he could not be reached for comment. The Prime Minister has called for a full investigation into the, parlor, into the administrative challenge that plagued Wednesday's advance poll. However, Mr. Bradley Roberts noted that, that it is regrettable that former Prime Minister Hubert Ingram openly boasted from a rally stage about having operatives in the public service at his beck and call that he can use to sabotage the work of the government. With Bahamians clearly looking to the future, Ingram returned from retirement but could not articulate one plan to move this country forward, Mr. Roberts explained. We are satisfied that Ingram and his operatives will fail in their nasty, gutter, and underhanded attempts to sabotage the legitimate work of the government for selfish political gains. Ingram's diabolic, Ingram's diabolic plots, underhanded schemes, and threats of institutional victimization not only remind Bahamians why they got rid of him and the FNM, but will fail miserably because Bahamians understand what is at stake in this election. They know it is the security of their future that is at stake, and the FNM is not offering the plans that matter to them. Wednesday's ordeal prompted members of the FNM to attack the government for the dysfunction of the advance poll voting. Free National Movement Carmichael candidate Desmond Bannister lambasted the government for the deficiencies at the poll. Mr. Bannister, while speaking to party supporters at an FNM rally at Thomas A. Robinson Stadium, charged that the government intentionally sabotaged the voting process in an effort to discourage voters. So you see, Bannister 
now accuses the government when we now know from the evidence of Mr. Sherlin Hall that Carlton Francis Smith, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of National Security and a documented FNM activist, he sabotaged it. All right? So you see how interesting it is? And we have to now look at the system. We would want, when the government is changed, senior civil servants can hold their positions. But if the evidence continue to point towards Carlton Francis Smith as the person who deliberately sabotaged the advance poll, we have to rethink government, my spiritual advisor. I think it is wicked what has taken place. And here we have a false crisis created by fifth columnists, FNMs, people in my party who ought to respect the rule of law. And so we in the FNM, we create the crisis and we skillfully blame it on the PLP. So PLP supporters have no fear. You have the lockdown. The democracy is threatened. And my party, the Free National Movement, is using hook and crooks to pull it off. And you have to defend the democracy, my spiritual advisor. Absolutely, absolutely. Wow. You want me to give out the lines to Yeah, plan? give out the lines. Tell my people, the Negro people, that they may call me. Telephone number to call in here at Freedom March. 323-7775. That's the main line. 323-7775. There's also a toll-free number. Toll-free number 300-0045. Toll-free 300-0045. And of course, there is a text and WhatsApp number 3577469. Text number 3577469. I sent a code message to Ezekiel. Ezekiel, it is you who stands on the promised land. Is Cable Bahamas still sabotaging me? Let me know so that I may curse them out. Well, Senator Monka, now that you've mentioned that, I got a disturbing text um, from a Freedom March viewer. And it says, um, Mr. Roll, could you tell Senator Monka that the cable TV is really breaking up bad? You can't make any good sense out of this program. Wow. Listen. Go to BTC. They got Flow TV 112. It appears that Cable Bahamas is the workers of the devil with a no good self. Huh? What kind of, what is this Aker doing? Sydney wife, Mavis, Mavis Latusma, Mavis, my fashe, my best friend, no, pour parler, act, Cable Bahamas. Because Cable Bahamas is not Pour qui ça? Ce n'est pas possible. Pour, pour tout le monde, pour garder na Cable Bahamas TV. Cable Bahamas pas bon. Et ma baisse, tout le monde, pour 7, BTC, Flow TV, 1, 1, 2. 1, 1, 2. Here comes another text. Um, Mr. Monka, what has happened to cable TV? You keep breaking up, man. you better off on the radio. For now, I have to cut TV off. Let us know when you're on a radio station. Please. Well, I'm going to call on Sabats and management. They have to take cable Bahamas to court. Go to court. Because this is deliberate. All right? Cable Bahamas with the no good cell. Go to BDC. Flow TV, 112. And then, of course, go to your cell phone, put on a little bit of data, download the apps, and you will get Flow TV on your smartphone. And once you um, download the apps, they will no longer charge you for data because ILTV, I'm advised, would have paid for your data. All right? Another text. Go ahead, my spirit. Senator side. Ingram has put Loretta in her place. Hubert Ingram has said that she was wrong for pointing you 
as a senator. Papa could not have said that. Papa could not have said that because I believe without evidence that when Loretta appointed me a senator, Papa was aware. That's my belief. So Papa can't say that. And Papa can't put no corruption on me. He can't. Papa knows. Because Papa really said that? Th that's what the text says. Well, I, I got to listen to that. Papa, they're trying to get me to attack you. But I shall not attack Papa unless Papa attack me. All right? All right, we have some WhatsApp messages. Yes, here the WhatsApp messages. It's a conspiracy, Senator Monka. The entire show has been a mess from the, from the beginning. Well, I'm going to radio if they can't get me on TV. Now it has completely frozen. What is going on with, well, they're saying, what is going on with Island Luck uh, TV? I don't know what is going on. I believe this is a conspiracy. And I hope thunder and lightning will strike Cable Bahamas with a wicked self. Senator, this is your cousin who saw you at St. Joseph on Easter Sunday just saying hello from the University of Miami. We are tuned in. My cousin, I thank you. I'm wrestling against the forces of evil led by Cable Bahamas. Andres is listening in, Senator. The Andres! Future, Senator. Awesome show. Andres, I'm so happy. Are you watching me on BTC Flow TV? More than likely. Because my lawyer, Wayne Monroe, told me that Flow TV... It's just flowing. He has no problem. It's only when he turns on the cable. All right? If you have a TV and it's on cable and they're not showing me, get BTC Flow TV. And if you got a smartphone, you download the apps. But you got to have data to start off with. Then once it is downloaded, ILTV will pay for all your data. Okay? Do I have any more text? Senator, your papa can't help Menace. We are going to beat him worse this time. Well, I say to Menace, boom, by yay. Beat him. Tell Cable, stop messing up on the good Senator show. They don't like me. They don't want the people to hear the truth. Okay? Many prominent f &Ms got share in Cable. Okay? Senator Monica, North Abaco is tuned in. North Abaco, the home of my forefathers. Welcome to Freedom Mass. Senator, police promotion dropped. The Royal Bahamas Defense Force has dropped. What happened to the prison? Well, Mr. Christie, the prison has complained. I say let's promote everybody. Okay? Just, just promote them. We'll promote, 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 promote. What else do we have here, my spiritual advisor? All right. Uh, that's it. Give out our calls because I want to receive some call. The telephone number here is 323-7775. That's the main line, 323-7775. Toll free number 242-300-0045. Toll free 242-300-0045. And also there's a text and WhatsApp line. That's 357-7469, 357 I have a telephone call. And my spiritual advisor, after that, I want you to read some of those texts. Welcome to Freedom March. Good afternoon, Mr. Munker, and good afternoon to Mr. Spiritual Advisor. Hi, how you doing? Good afternoon, my dear. Mr. Munker, um, what I want to find, what I want you to do is educate me and the behavior people in reference to this question. What happens, just say, the um, F and M is the election? Does it have, does um, Dr. Minnis, as leader of the opposi um, opposition now going in the election, the next, the following day, the 11th, they're elected. Does, how many um, 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 votes or confident votes does he have to get to become the Prime Minister of the Bahamas? And does he automatically become the Prime Minister of the Bahamas if the FNM wins the election? The Constitution of the Bahamas is clear. The person who is leader of the party, that is the person who will become the Prime Minister. So if, heavens forbid, that Minnis wins, the f and wins, Her Excellency Dame Margaret Pinley is required 
to send for him and to invite him to form the next government. Okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Enjoy your weekend. Do Absolutely. well, my dear. You, you too. So I, I can't remember what sections. For some reason, I think it might be Article 78, but don't hold me to it. Welcome to Freedom Match. Hello? Are you there? Speak to me. Hello? Well, hello, are you there? Hello? Speak to me. You might, you might as well coupe sa. Hello, welcome to Freedom Match. Hi, good afternoon, Spiritual Advisor and Senator. How are you? We're doing great. How about yourself? Good, thank you. Absolutely. I, I watched Auckland Body Show this morning and there was no interruption. Wow. None at all, and that show is. Call me back. Isn't that amazing? She watched Auckland Body Show. Call me back, sister. And Body, they could see him. And I'm a better looking man than Body. And more handsomer than he. And they can see Body Show. But by grab, everywhere I go, they sabotage me. I'm on the radio, they sabotage me. I come to TV, they sabotage me. Let me ask you a question, Senator. Go ahead, my spiritual advisor. Because apparently this is a serious issue. This yeah. is very serious. And um, some things are going through my mind um, as I reflect on sacred scriptures and the Almighty God. Um, this is a serious thing that's happening to you. And I am wondering now, as your spiritual advisor, what is your next move as it relates to Freedom March? Because apparently somebody is trying to silence you. Um, do you think it's because of the way you may deal with people, the things you may say, or are they reacting back to you as a result of that in this manner? They are afraid of truth. I speak truth to power, and I cut things straight. Where the PLP is wrong, I say it. Where the FNM is wrong, I say it. Welcome to Freedom March. Hello? Hey, sir, I'm calling back. I was just telling you how I watched Auckland today. Uh, no interruptions. Now, the minute you come on, my friends in Freeport is calling me saying they can't see nothing. The show is freezing. Wow. You don't want the people to hear the truth about, you, about what you have to say? That is what is happening, my dear. But Goodness I curse me. them. Go ahead, talk. talk and to also, me. too, you remember when there was the referendum? Yes. When um, the results took so long to come out before they started being counted? Yes. You think Carl Smith has sabotaged that also? Well, I have no evidence of his participation in that. Uh -huh. but, but clearly, from what Mr. Sherlin Hall has said to the media yesterday, uh -huh. I know for a fact that Carlton Francis Smith was an FNM activist up to the night of the election. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. But I was happy that Dr. Bernard Nottage demonstrated such great political maturity and didn't interfere with him. Right? But now, in the ninth hour, he appears to be pulling what the FBI, FBI mandated to Mrs. Clinton. But, yeah. but it's on his voice. It's political sabotage, and I want him to stop it, because if he doesn't stop it, I can curse him out. You should. Uh, yeah. Yes, you should. Yeah. I'm and I have one more thing. Go ahead. Did you hear a recording about Michael Pinta today? You know he got caught on red-handed again. Yes. Um, playing political gangsterism, want to set somebody up to um, put propaganda on the PLP. I have the tape. Okay, you need to speak on that for me, okay? I shall not speak today because what I have done, I have ordered a big speaker <laughs> so that I can listen and dissect. Because, you know, I'm an F&M. Uh -huh. And I have to be fair to him. You follow? Okay. But I've listened to it uh -huh. outside a bank, and I was mm -hmm. extremely upset. Yes. And as I listened to it, I was reminded by what Papa said to me. Uh-huh. Papa called him a hustler. Him, exactly. Menace. Togi and Bobo. But nothing but scullywags. And the good thing about Papa said he was never going to kill nobody. Yeah. Anyway, I can study it some more because I okay. want to be fair to him, you know? Okay, then. Because I's F&M and okay. they can be mad with me. Okay, but well, you have a good weekend. I shall. And you, Are you going to the carnival? 
No, I don't do the carnival. I'm not going around the red circus no more. Well, I have to go to the carnival because, you know, as a senator, I'm told that the government has all kind of tickets for me. Okay. At 60, what do you think I should wear? You should wear something gold and yellow. No, no, it's F and M. I can't wear nothing gold. <laughs> well, wear blue. I, I yearn for a city of gold, mm -hmm. but I shall not wear gold because, you know, I'm red. Okay. You take good care. Likewise. All right. My spiritual advisor, I'm being sabotaged. I don't know what is going on. They don't like me. I have a phone call. Welcome to Freedom March. Hello. Yes, my dear. How are you? You're listening to Facebook, yeah. eh? Yeah, Mr. Monger. My love. I'm so happy that you're on the show, and I'm seeing you clearly on Flow. You can see me on Flow? I can see you on... On Flow TV? Yes. Wow. Are you watching your smartphone, or are you watching the TV screen? No, I'm watching the TV screen. And you can see me? Yeah, I can see you. Look at the TV screen and tell me what I'm doing right now. What am I doing? Can you're you? talking, uh, and you're, you're, you're put, oh, you're raising one hand, this you're is shaking powerful. one hand. This is powerful. You're shaking the other hand. You saw me. Anyway, you have to pray for me, because I'm going to ask God to send thunder and lightning, because but, something is wrong that they're doing this to me. Yeah, they always do. You know what you need to do? What you think? You need to go on every radio show and say what you're saying this evening and let the people... The Bahamian people know what's going on with Hubert Ingram. Okay. Don't care how much they try to hold you down or keep you down. They ain't going to win. This look like Obia. Yeah, but that ain't nothing that Obia can't wake on you. It look like witchcraft. That ain't no witchcraft on you. It look like graveyard dirt. Yeah, but they can't do you nothing. This look like underhand work. But I'm going to keep on praying for you. And I need you to anoint me in some olive oil. Yeah, for the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Listen, how old are you? Me? Yeah. I'm about 70. Okay. It's, okay. It's your age that I would prefer to anoint me. Your I just keep on talking and keep on doing a great, you're doing a great work. I thank you. Okay. God save the queen. Right. Do I have a caller? Welcome to Freedom March. Hello? Are you there? I, the person isn't there. Give me another phone call. Tout mon haïtien. Um, really moi? And Leo Hello. Re Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Yes, sir. I can hear you. Hey, Brother Manta. Sir. Just call to tell you I could see you on flow fine. I don't know what them cable boy do when I see you fine on flow. Wow. Well, look, you better talk fast because the clock is running out on me. No, the clock will run out. That's it. That's all I want to tell you. You're a great tell them, man. Stop that, do that to you. You're a great man. They ain't no good. All right, brother. Thank you. It's amazing, eh? Flow TV. This is, I can take another call. Welcome to Freedom Match. Good afternoon, Mr. Monka. Yes, my love. And good afternoon, spiritual advisor. Hi, good afternoon. Mr. How you doing? Monka, I, I was calling you to let you know right here you haven't complaints on, on cable. Yes. So I really believe that somebody's doing something because I just wanted to let you know I'm I'm catching you on flow and I'm catching you clear. Wow. Yes, yeah, so you probably is right in what you're saying. But Mr. Monka Yes. For all these different things that I'm hearing happening just before this election, I've made up my mind. I'm going green because green is clean. Okay. Don't have nothing, be no baggage behind You're them. You're going green? Yes, sir. Okay, I ain't got no problem with that. Gotta start off with a clean snake because it's just too much baggage on both parties. Wow. So, Mr. Manka, you, you, you need to find out what station you could go on because I was surprised to hear what you were saying this afternoon. Uh -huh. And maybe you are right because I've never heard anything like what's happening in the parliament. I've never heard that in my life, so maybe something did go wrong. Listen to me. I'm and an effort now. Like and like you said, Mr. Manka, the Bahamian people don't want to hear the truth. No. They don't want to hear the truth. They just want to run behind these colors. They don't I, want I got to have to cut you because the clock is running out. Okay, Mr. Monka. My name is Rodney Monka, and my spiritual advisor, Bradley Roll, is here with me. Time to pray. The forces of evil is trying to sabotage me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to... No. Amen. This is Freedom March.
We will be right back after we pay the bills down. Do you have something to say to the Senator? Call Freedom March at 323-7775. Toll free from anywhere in the Bahamas at 242-300-0045. Freedom March with Rodney Monker, only on ILTV. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. to ILTV channel 224 and of course BTC Flow TV 112. If you are having difficulty watching Freedom March on cable 224, turn over to BTC Flow 112. And I'm also advised that if you have a smartphone with data, you can download the apps for Flow TV, and then afterward, we here in the studio, we pay for the data going forward. My spiritual advisor, have you been monitoring anything on Facebook? Well, you can also watch um, the show live on Facebook, the ILTV Studio Facebook page. You can also view it on that as well. Okay. Tell my people, the Negro people, the telephone numbers here, as I welcome the people of Andres. Oh, Andres, my Andres. I can hear the voice of the late Clarence A. Bain, a national hero of the Bahamas and one of the parliamentary, that is former parliamentary representative for Andres. I have a caller. Welcome to Freedom March. Hello, are you there? Yes, I'm there. Oh, praise the Lord. What is on your mind? Well, uh, first time caller. Well, welcome to Freedom March. I must congratulate uh, both of you all gentlemen for doing an excellent job. We thank, thank you. you, sir. And uh, what I mostly call for is to ask you all gentlemen to say a prayer for Hubert Ingram, for him coming back and trying to mislead the Bahamian people in such a fashion when he totally neglect the Bahamian people in general when he was defeated at the poll as the leader of the FNM. So I'd like for you all to please say a prayer for him. I ask for him to quit before it's too late. Well, and maybe people may consider him in the late, later down years of his old age as Papa. Yes. Because right now, he is doing the public unjust. Allow Minister, to, if he have anything to offer, to do it on his own. I quite agree with you. Papa should allow Minister to be his own man. His own man. It is time that Minister grow up. Right now, he's making Minister look like, like, like Tommy T. He become another baby. Yeah, and Papa knows that Minister is incompetent. Papa knows that menace is corrupt. You say corruption is when you erode certain fundamental principles. And Papa's wrong. And Papa knows that I love him. And I support it. Him. But Papa's on the wrong track. Because Papa knows that menace did not divest. And menace can't deliver this baby. This woman. Mr. Monka, that's your good friend. Papa shall always be my good friend. But so Papa's him, on the wrong track. You are a good man. Make him become a good man, but not misleading the Bahamian public. But I have a Haitian friend. I'm going to ask him to call in because I love when he prays for Papa in Haitian Creole. Are you saying Papa is a Haitian? Papa's a Haitian. I'm a Haitian. <coughs> Dr. Minnis is a Haitian. Perry Christie is a Haitian. Ronville McCartney. He is a North, and they're from the South of Haiti. Yeah, well, you have the responsibility now, Mr. Manka, to please I... educate the Bahamian people because Papa, look, he is going crazy, and he is talking out of his head, and he is confusing the public. 
Okay. So you all please pray for him. I'm an oxygen spiritual like you advisor. Pray for him on, on this radio, national radio, so the world or all, all Bahamians will understand that Papa is losing his head. Thank you very much. I thank you. And you all keep the good wake up. I thank you. My spiritual advisor, you can say a silent prayer Absolutely. for Papa. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm looking at the newspaper. And there, I have another phone call? No. Okay. I'm looking at the newspaper where the Negro activist, Ronald Hanfield, has finally come out of the political closet. He is now declared that he's an FNM. I thought he knew he was an FNM. I know FNMs when I see one, because I am an FNM who cut things straight. Straight. Ronard is a fake and a fraud. He came up with a group called We March. And he said that there were many socio-political and socio-economic issues that he wanted Mr. Christie and the PLP to address. And Christie invited him to come and let's meet and buy grab. Buy grab! The man was playing games. The history of politics in the Bahamas is that whenever you go to the streets, you demand to speak to the leader of the nation, the prime minister. And Christie invited him, but he refused. He was never sincere from day one. And then, of course, John. You know John? Johnny Bullock. John. John betrayed him because the pressure was on John to tone down. We match, all right? Because John is waiting in great expectation that Menace is gonna pardon him. And I have no problem in John having a second chance. That is one of the great philosophy of Prime Minister Perry Christie, giving our young men a second chance. But I want Menace to know that if heaven forbids that the FNM win the election, John is not the only one who's been convicted with 10 bullets or more. All right? If John could get a pardon, pardon, well, Stinky could get one. And I'm prepared to organize all the young men who had guns and bullets, and we'll march the minutes. Because John cannot be treated better than the average Negro male. So my spiritual advisor, Ranad, is out of the closet. He was a faker. And a fraud. Yeah, after insisting that this rematch has nothing to do... Talk into the mic. After insisting that the rematch had absolutely nothing to do with politics, I find it to be extremely interesting that now he's coming out and he backs the FNM leader. And there was nothing wrong with that. I guess not. He could have come out from day one and said, listen, we march, support menace. All right? But the man misled the public. And we knew that there was nothing philosophical between him and John. Because John has demonstrated that having been convicted for 10 bullets, how many, am I saying it correctly? Because yes. I don't want John and them to sue me. Was it 10 bullets? Let me count it to make sure. It's a magazine. A magazine? No. John had 10 bullets. But he, he... One bullet, two bullet, three bullets, Four bullets, five bullets, six bullets, seven bullets, eight, nine, ten. John deserves a second chance, but every young man in the country must be given a second chance. Am I wrong, my spiritual advisor? Well, Mr. Monka, in all honesty, I believe that everyone who has been convicted, served their time, and is released back in society should be forgiven because um, you have to survive and live in this country. I don't think that your past should haunt you. you so you believe that a senator, I'm a senator, mm -hmm. you don't think I know better than to go to Freeport and try to bring bullets into the country? M Mr. Monka, we all stumble and make mistakes. Come, my spiritual advisor. At some point in I'm life. a senator. Well, well, If I am a senator mm -hmm. and I go to Grand Bahama, mm -hmm. you think 
I should try to bring in 10 bullets? No, no you shouldn't. You if should... I need 10 bullets, suppose I went to Grand Bahama. I'm a senator. I need 10 bullets for a gun that I have no license for. I would write to Commissioner Police, Dear Commissioner, I ain't got no gun. <laughs> but I need 10 bullets. Can I bring them in? I want you to think Green Slade is going to say, Yeah, what time you coming? <laughs> and when I get to the airport, he'll have the police waiting for me. Uh, John uh, even ain't try. All right? I do not think that John should be pardoned <laughs> until 10 years. No, that's not fair. My spiritual advisor, no, this is a senator. Yeah, that's not fair. It was fair, a portrayal of trust. Absolutely, I agree with huh? that. Yeah, I agree. Can you imagine it? As yeah. John was coming to the airport with his bike and the 10 bullets, I am told as he entered, the police were saluting him. The custom was saluting him. Immigration, can you imagine I'm coming through with my bullets and the police come to an attention? Can you imagine that? Come on. And then Janet Boswick. She mad with Christy. As if Christy's John Daddy. Huh? She won't put, put John on Christy. Hmm. I told you how she kissed Christy. Yeah, I've heard the story. At what time? Let me see. I, I, I give you a carnival you, ticket. You know, Mr. Monk. No, Mr. Monk. If you can I, tell me. Mr. Monk, I have said it before. At what time? Wow. That Mrs. Janet Boswick threw herself into the arms. Anybody who calls me now and tell me, give them out the number. Bring that bike with all them carnival ticket the government sent for me. Bring them here. Give the number out, my spiritual advisor. The number to call. You, you haven't asked the question yet, but anyhow, the number call. to call in is 323 Let me see what's here. 323 That's the main line. Toll free. I don't understand the F and M. They say, I know Senator, yet the government them keeps sending me things. What's this? Is this really tickets? Because I'm 60. Let me see. See if they took it. They took it? Because I don't want to. The ticket look like this? Goodness of mercy. No re-entry, non-refundable. 25 more reasons. Yes, to... they are. These are tickets? Yes, they are. The first Negro who calls me and tell me correctly at what time did Mrs. Janet Boswick kiss the Prime Minister? I will give them one of these. Give them the number. Toll free, 300-0045. That's 300-0045. My, uh, okay. T uh, what? Hello, welcome to Freedom March. Yes, it was at a funeral. She threw herself in Christy arms. This is powerful. And... I don't remember the name. I think he was a boss field or something, you said? N no, no, no. I, no. You're doing fine. Can you I remember the time? What's that I'm hearing? I'm hearing, like, music. There's a phone on? I'm... Sorry about that, my dear. I'm what easily... What time you made was... I know it was at a funeral. It was at a funeral. No, but I don't remember. You don't, don't remember, remember the time. time. But give me the story one more time. You said she went to a funeral and Mr. Christie was there. And when she saw Mr. Christie, she fall into the arms and give her... And he give her a kiss on the cheek. No, not, it wasn't... Not, they didn't kiss on no cheek now. Okay. This was real kiss. <laughs> and let me tell you something. I don't care what they say with Christie. Christy know how to kiss an old woman. <laughs> you hear me? Listen, uh, you come to this place. What time? You can come now. Okay, what time? You, I, I, I live out east time. I can catch you there at 6 o'clock. Goodness of mercy. Um, so how you can get the ticket? Can I meet you out by Junkanoo and get it from you? Listen, once I get to Junkanoo and I see Allison Maynard, <laughs> you can forget these tickets. <laughs> Because at 60, I'm told that she's 58. Mm -hmm. And I got a special skull for her. Okay, can you leave it at the receptionist? What time do they close? What time we close here? Tell me. What time we close? Tell me so this woman can get the ticket. Listen, you got my cell number? Yes, I have it. 434-5760. Uh -huh. When I put you on hold, give them your name so that I wouldn't be misled. Okay. My office is on Market Street. You know where my office is on Market Street? I will find it. Opposite that two-story, big, huge building they're building. Oh, yeah. You call me, you got one ticket. 
this a VIP ticket or a regular pass? Regular pass. Listen, I can't tell if this regular. Is, this regular. regular pass ticket, yeah. Okay. You don't mind regular, right? No, I don't mind. This tickets cost twenty five dollars, <laughs> and I understand the government send this to me because they said they know when I travel, I can have at least five people in my party. Okay. And I'm playing senator, so you better call me. My number I, is four three four. I have it. Good. So you call me and you'll get the ticket, okay? Okay. Okay. Give him your name. All right. All right. Welcome to Freedom Match. Uh -huh. Welcome to Freedom Match. Give them your name so that I wouldn't be Next man. Uh Hello? They gone? Man, the people them was listening to me. When Janet, the priest said... You do the sign of, what they call it it's in the church? called the peace greeting. The peace greeting. And Janet, Christy was like sitting in the western pew. And Janet was like in the south, you know? And when she walked over and she collapsed in Christy's arms, listen to me, Christy's plenty man. He grabbed her and he gave her a wonderful kiss. That is powerful. So that person one the ticket i'm not giving out any more because the government expect me to come all right my spiritual advisor will you accompany me i guess i could but when i dance I what, 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 what is be going on at this um Look, carnival because i, I got a phone call do i have oh when i grab allison right and you hear me say man take one and satisfy i want you to holler woman take two and make a move. You know, I, I can't be indulging at, at looking at half-naked women. You know, I can't be doing No, no, no. Right? She's going to be, she's going to wear a long dress. I told okay. her to wear a long dress because okay. I'm wearing a long pants. Okay. Right? <laughs> but I think we can have a wonderful time. Isn't it wonderful that as we cannibal, we'll go right, I'll go straight to the beach after the carnival is over and you're my spiritual advisor. When, when tomorrow night? No, on election night. Oh. What are you going to do? I'm going to vote. You're going to vote? I am going to vote. But you will come with me to the carnival. That is going to make a difference. Yeah, I'll go to you. Well, this is powerful. You. I have a ticket here for you. I'll go with you. Okay. Senator. This is powerful. I got one for Brother Jax, Brother Jack's wife. Okay? So, I don't know. Listen to the government. Would you all please send the VIP tickets? All right? I don't know why the government wouldn't leave me alone. They just, they're just inviting me to all kinds of things. You're a strong supporter. Of the government. Yes, I believe <laughs> if I wasn't going to the beach, they lucky I, I go into the beach. I would vote PLP because Papa has said that if the opposition isn't united, say I ain't gonna let Papa think I forget. Because all the time that Papa spoke to me, Papa told me to take notes. And Papa said, if menace cannot unite the opposition, the people them should vote. PLP. PLP! All the way. Said my spiritual advisor. Go ahead. <laughs> PLP! All the way, Senator. My spiritual advisor, you're great. Uh, you're great trapsy. You're man. very trapsy, Senator. This morning, my doctor, Dr. Dwayne Sands, he was spotted out there. I have a call online. Welcome to Freedom Match. Hello? Hello, good afternoon, Rodney Manka. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? And excuse me, I mean, Senator Manka. God save the Queen. Yes, sir. And uh, it's the blind man who called you yesterday. You're the blind man who called me yesterday? Well, when you was in taxi, I called you. Okay. What's on your mind? I don't know. I'm not, I can't listen to your radio station for circumstances, but I hear that you're talking about the fiasco that happened in Freeport. In Freeport? Yes. The polling station. The, the polling, polling station. station, yeah. Oh, well, it happened in Freeport and in Nassau, I guess. Yes. Now, this is only my view, and I could be wrong, but I want to put it out there, and maybe you can discuss it in that later time when I listen to your show on the Internet. Okay. Later on in the days, I can hear what you say about it. Okay. I'm of the position that maybe the people were paid to frustrate the system. Okay. The people were paid to agitate and make the government look bad. Yes. 
you know, and... You are, is, you are correct, because when we listen to what Mr. Sherlin Hall, the parliamentary commissioner, has reported, he says, exactly. listen, the permanent secretary in national security, Carl Smith, whose proper name is Carlton Francis Smith, he did not open the two polling station. That was instructed. That, yes, and that caused the problem. Now, based on my age, you know, I'm 60, we know that Carlton Francis Smith is an FM. All right? Okay. And when we look at it, who benefits from the chaos? The FM. In the midst of the chaos, it's the FM. Look, call me back um, on Monday. Are you related to uh, Miss Wells? Yes, sir. I actually tell my mother hello. Okay. That is May Wells, right? <laughs> yes, sir. You got it. Okay. Did she hear my greeting? No, I haven't heard that recording yet. Like I say, I'll well, get it well, a listen, couple days after they, put it, they post it. Well, while you were here, let me just say it. To the mother of this young man, May Wells, I'm so excited to have received the report earlier this week from your son that you are one of the woman's dam. And if you're not going on the beach, I want you to vote PLP all the way because the sovereignty of the country is threatened. Take it care, my brother. Time is yes, running sir. down. You call me Monday. Do I have another call? Welcome to Freedom Match. Hello. Hello. Hello, my dear. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Talk to me quickly. Yes, good afternoon, the spiritual wiser, Mr. Monka. Hi, good afternoon. How are you doing? Dear. I'm calling to find out why was Brent Simonet and the Wayne Sands and Prince Charles and Fox Hill Road this morning giving out money in T-shirts? No, no, no. You sure money was in the T-shirt? Yes, sir. Did you get one of the T-shirts? Listen, if you know that they're doing that, take my cell, because I'm break. 434 Five seven six zero. I don't think the Dr. Dwayne Sands would do that. I'm not going to swear for anybody else. But Dwayne Sands is my heart doctor, so you know I can't case him out. Okay, sir, but I hope you don't have a heart attack to return to him. Now listen, this heart belongs to him. He got to keep this working, okay? But you take it here and keep watching the F and M and let me know what all they're doing on Monday. All right, sir. Okay. PLP all the way. PLP? All the way. PLP? All the way. PLP? All the way. Okay. <laughs> it's amazing that my party, the F and M is so wicked that they're forcing me to tell people to vote PLP if they ain't coming with me on the beach. Welcome to Freedom March. Any caller? Hello? Are you there? Are you there? I'm, I'm not hearing anybody. Hello? Stop listening to the my voice on your TV. Yeah, they obviously don't. Anyway, tout le monde est ici. Est-ce que vous allez na carnival? Huh? Would you say my spiritual advisor? I have a call up. Come on, it's almost time to run out. Take you long one. Hello. Hey, Senator. Sir. Senator Monko. Sir, I'm listening. Speak to me quickly. Look here. You you are F and M, but you're encouraging people to vote PLP. I'm an F and M who is trying to get people to come go with me on the beach. But if they refuse to go, I'm gonna tell them not to vote for Minutes. He's a picky teeth, Montobi. He's nothing but a frying pan. Okay? Now what you can do? You yes, Senator. Yeah? Talk fast, because yes. I almost got to cut you. It's two more minutes before I'm off air. Yes, Senator. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. Okay. Well, call me on Monday, okay? <laughs> yes, my, sir. My spiritual advisor, time is running out. Tell the Negroes to behave themselves and don't commit no crime. Well, of course, Mr. Monker, the weekend is here again. Of course, um, a lot of activities are going on on the weekend. And, of course, you know, we here at Freedom March normally do try to get people to, you know, try to have fun, clean fun, uh, to all those who may be involved in some sort of a criminal activity. Today's what? Or, Thursday? Well, it's Friday. It's Today's Friday. Friday evening. Okay. Yeah. To, you know, 
uh, cease and desist. Behave from, yourself. Yeah, from Stop any, killing. So, yeah. Stop it. And we're asking all those guys who have those weapons, turn them in. Yeah. Uh, put the guns down. It's, it's peace and love. Let's try to enjoy it. And if you're weekend. in Freeport and you have bullets, please don't come to the airport because well, the police is there. You know, you... you My spiritual advisor, you are a safe man. Yeah, but you... you what, what, what are you talking about? Leave the boss back alone, please. I'm not fighting with the boss back. Please. I'm not. Yeah. Huh? What am I doing to the boss back? Yeah, in... Anyhow... Huh? I got to pray for you, Senator. Senator? You have a hard time forgiving folks. You Listen, know? And I... We, as Christians, we encourage to forgive... This is true. ...one another when we... Anyway, folks, offend. take good care. If it is God's will, the spiritual advisor and I will be here on Monday. Be at peace with all mankind. Absolutely. Don't kill nobody. Murderers are going to hell. If you kill, you're going to hell. And if I have any influence... I'm going to encourage the government to buy brand new rope and hang. All right? Y'all stop killing people, man. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't a good thing. And we all are bohemians. We shouldn't be killing anyone. We should love each other. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. This killing is too much, man. I had time to talk about crime. Yeah. But, you know. We should have touched on if crime. If you're going to the carnival, have fun. You know? No violence. Anyway, y'all take good care. On behalf of of my team and the spiritual advisor, I bid you au revoir. Have a great day. Mali, I gone. Bye. See you tomorrow. The thoughts, views, and comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, callers, and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2017. All rights are reserved. <laughs>